Hello, welcome. Come on in. If you haven't made a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, now's the time to do it because I'm going to show you how to make my famous chocolate chippy recipe. Um, and this all started with a carrot cake, which sounds a bit weird. I kept getting asked for my carrot cake recipe and I'm too lazy to write it down. So I thought, well, why not? Let's just make a little video and hopefully everybody around the world can enjoy it um, and experiment. And I guess that's what this is all about, sharing my skills with everybody else out there. Um, I'm Michelle and I live in Tasmania. It's a little bit cold here at the moment. Beautiful winter's day. Um, on a property and we're on a lifestyle property here of five acres and uh, myself and my family My son my husband our chihuahua Millie our pussycat Murray. We have three turkeys That are running around at the moment gobbling um, three chickens which provide our beautiful eggs which I use for our recipes and a couple of sheep down in the front paddock We've been looking for this property for a long time well I should say I've been looking for this property for a long time I wanted uh, beautiful gardens and to get back to nature grow our own food um, enjoy the outdoors more and the beauty that your garden provides you and we found it on the internet and um, we actually brought it without even looking at it if you can believe that so People sort of said we're a little bit crazy, <laughs> but when we came here, I came down here to have a look. I knew it was, yeah, just the right property for us and something that I've been looking for for a long time. So I, I guess what I would like to do is, is show you um, some of my recipes and my cooking. Um, we run also on Airbnb here, so we host, we have a beautiful wooden cottage, uh, which is very private down the back of, of our block of land and um, that's been very successful as well. I do romantic stays, people come and get pampered and if they stay more than a couple of nights I, I do baking for them as well as a little treat um, or romantic picnic hampers because we're about two minutes down the road from a beautiful waterfall called Guide Falls uh, which is just out of, out of Ridgely in Tasmania. So some of you watching this probably don't even know where Tasmania is. So if you look at that big place called Australia, and then you've got to go across a stretch of water, and then you'll come to Tasmania, which is its own island. And it's just stunning. So I think we, we enjoy all the seasons, um, and the, the fruit, the produce is just beautiful here. So landscape it's just a wonderful place to to come live look around so for those of you that don't know about tasmania perhaps jump on and google it um it really is beautiful so anyway that's that's a little bit about about me and what we're doing here so i'm hoping that you're going to enjoy learning how to make chocolate chip biscuits today so it's a really simple recipe uh, anyone can do it if you haven't uh, tried your hand at baking before this is what you're going to need so uh, we'll run through so you're going to need some bowls and you're going to need you don't need a food processor or anything complicated like that just one of these little whiz things you can pick up at I think Kmart for about 20 bucks um, knife some measuring cups are always good teaspoon um, and for the ingredients you're going to need half a pound of butter which is basically a block of butter chopped in half one egg this one's courtesy of uh, our wonderful chickens uh, a large cup of sugar just normal sugar and two teaspoons of baking powder and two and a half cups of flour just standard plain flour and the piece de resistance that was a really bad French French accent um, chocolate chips so I just use the dark chocolate chips you can use any type of chocolate chips you want you could use white chocolate chips uh, you can also add um, 
cranberries to it if you wanted to or chopped up nuts whatever you like so I'm just going to use chocolate chips and I've probably got I would say a good cup there so the more the better we're not worrying we're not calorie counting here so there is no calorie counting going on at all so I'm going to show you what we do oh you'll need a microwave which well depending on the temperature that you're watching this from if you're in a hot area you might leave the butter out and it's um soft enough to beat up just like that but for us here in tasmania we're definitely going to use the microwave today because it's winter so all you do first of all we're going to we're going to beat cream the um butter and sugar together so i'm just going to take the wrapper off that and chop it up first so we chop it up into and it is hard believe me so it's uh, pretty chilly here today and pop it in a little microwave proof jug like so there we go it's taking a, a bit of effort with the knife today because I haven't left this out very long but even if I had have left it out it will probably be very hard considering I imagine we're maybe seven or eight degrees outside so we're going to pop this into the microwave over here to soften for about 45 seconds and we'll see how that is and then to that we're going to add our sugar and then give it a beat up um, once that's done then we'll add the egg so and progress on from there so I'm hoping you're enjoying it so far if you haven't grab yourself a cup of tea okay so now we have our softened butter and there we go and we're going to grab our big bowl and a spatula Rusty spatula can't live without this when you do lots of baking because we want to get everything but it's expensive now so here in Tasmania it's about five dollars for a pound which is a block of butter so we want to make sure we get all the butter out of the container so waste not want not more butter more biscuits yum so scrape that off into the bowl and as you can see it's not liquid but it's nice and soft and that's the state that we want to have that in so to that we're going to add this big cup of sugar like so and then from there we're going to cream it now creaming is a process which um, I'll show you what it needs to look like in the end. So it's basically combining the butter and sugar until it's nice and light and fluffy looking. All right, here we go. I won't bore you with the noise. All right, so that's uh, nicely creamed. Now what we need to do is add the egg to it. A little trick there as well that I should have showed you before. Just um, to stop your bowl moving around on the bench, pop a tea towel underneath it. Now we're going to add our egg. Thank you very much, chickens. Crack that in there. We don't waste anything here either, so this little eggshell will get crushed up and go back out as food for our chickens okay and we just beat that up so now we have whoops a bit for the tea towel we have a beautiful mixture there of our butter sugar and egg 
So that's ready now for the dry, to add the dry ingredients to it. If you want to, you can scrape off your beaters as well, just to waste not whatnot. Get a little bit more in there. Fantastic. Now I hope you've grabbed a pen and paper um, so that you can write this recipe down or I guess you can just keep replaying this video um, as you go step by step. So what we've started with, large cup of sugar, uh, half a pound of butter and one egg. So that's in there now. Give the beaters a bit of a whack. Okay, our next ingredients we're going to grab our baking powder. Now baking powder, for those of you that haven't done much baking before, if you don't put your baking powder in, you're going to end up with pancakes. So this makes the biscuits rise. So we want two teaspoons and we add that to the creamed mixture. And then we have two and a half cups of flour, as I said before, and we need a wooden spoon. The spatula is not going to cut it. So what we're going to do, scrape off that spatula. Yum, 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 yum. And pop that to the side. We've got our baking powder in there. And then we're going to add our flour. Now you can add it in two batches if you want, if it makes it easier for you to mix it in. So we give it a bit of a mix around. It's important with that spatula, spatula as well before when you're creaming the mixture that you stop a couple of times and um, use a spatula to scrape the mixture down from the sides just so it all gets nicely incorporated and you don't have um, bits that aren't, aren't creamed properly because that will affect the texture of your biscuits. And these are biscuits, by the way, so they're not cookies, so they're not chewy in the middle. They're crispy chocolate chippy bickies. If you haven't already, and I haven't, so I'm just going to shoot over to the oven now and turn it on. So you want to turn the oven on to 180, fan forced, and let that heat up, ready for our biscuits to go in. So that's half of the flour incorporated there, which you can probably see. And we're going to add the other half. And then we need it to start forming a cookie dough. And to do that, I could be forever here with the spoon, so what I'm going to do is put my hands a wash on the tea towel, dry them off, and get my hands in there to really get in and mix it up and form that um, cookie dough. Sorry, biscuit dough, not cookie dough. These are not cookies, these are biscuits. They're two very different things. All right, now this is the fun part. It gets a bit messy. That's part of the fun of baking. So if you haven't baked before, it is a lot of fun. And it's probably, probably one of the most fun things I do. I enjoy it. I probably enjoy eating it a little bit too much too. But I think the family enjoys the results and there's nothing more pleasing and creating something and special to eat and everybody enjoys it. So I hope this makes you want to start baking. Okay, so you can probably see it's coming together as a dough. So just get in there and give it a good squish it around. Get it off your fingers because it does get everywhere. Like so. Okay. So 
So once you get to this stage and you've got a nice dough forming like that and it's pretty much cleaning I hope you can see that pretty much cleaning the edges of the bowl so like so you're going to grab your chocolate chips yum and in they go and incorporate those just keep going into your cookie dough and once we've got those fairly evenly distributed then it's ready to make biscuit balls I keep wanting to call them cookie balls but they're not like biscuit balls so you need a couple of trays baking trays which I have already prepared oh and baking paper let me just wash my hands baking paper or you can use silicone trays or you can just spray your trays with non-stick spray completely up to you I use baking paper because it's easy so I've got a couple of trays here that I prepared earlier so there we go now all I've done is spray a little bit of non-stick spray on the actual tray itself then pop the baking paper on there and then from there we just get hands on again and we're going to roll little balls and then they go on the tree So that's two. That's made two trays. So at a quick count, what have we got? Five, four. That's twenty there. Yes, I can add. Amazing. Um, and we've got four by four, so sixteen. So that's made thirty-six biscuits, and they are big biscuits. So what we're going to do now is just get your fork and. Press them down to where you want them to be on your tray. So that's literally how easy it is to make super duper yummy chocolate chip biscuits. So they're going to, believe me, they will not last long in your cupboards or biscuit tins. Uh, you'll be making these on a regular basis. Now we're going to pop these in the oven and they're going to go in, as I said, we've preheated the oven at 180. So I'm gonna pop those in now. And they take around 15 minutes, so if you've got an oven timer, you can pop your oven timer on just to give you a reminder while you go off and do something else, which I'll just set mine now for 15 minutes. So that'll give me a, a beep and a reminder to go and check on the bickies. So what you're going to be looking for um, after that 15 minutes, because everybody's ovens cook a little bit differently, you want them to just be light, golden so we're not looking for brown brown because that means they're overdone um, once you see that just um pop them pull them out of the oven and then you want to oh reminded me you need one of these so once they come out of the oven we're going to sit the trays onto the wire rack or um, something that's obviously not you know they're very hot when they come out of the oven so somewhere that's not going to affect your bench top and let them completely cool so don't take them off the oven trays before they are completely cold unless like me you have people in the house that come in and steal them when they're hot and fresh from the oven 
so I hope you've um, enjoyed that we'll come back and I'll show you the finished product and um, might even give you a demonstration of eating them all right fantastic Okay, so we have our finished product. I've taken the biscuits out of the oven, obviously, and they are now cooling nicely on the bench. And we're going to enjoy them shortly with a nice cup of coffee. So I really hope that you've enjoyed watching and learning uh, perhaps a new biscuit recipe for yourself to go and try and um, please your friends and family. And perhaps I've piqued your interest a little about Tasmania and where I'm coming from. Um, if you're looking at a holiday or you'd like to come down and, and meet us here and book some accommodation, jump on to Airbnb and have a look for Guide Falls Romantic Cottage in Ridgely, Tasmania. So that's Ridgely, R-I-D-G-L-E-Y. And we're in the northwest of Tasmania and it's just a beautiful region here and we're very very lucky that we live in such a stunning place. In the springtime we've got amazing displays of bulbs, flowers, it's the pastures are green and beautiful so there's just so much to do and discover here in Tasmania. So I really hope that you come back and see me again Join us on, on the channel for more videos and more interesting things that we're going to pop on, be it outside in the garden, taking you for a little walk around the property that we have, maybe propagating, learning how to propagate plants, um, more recipes, and interesting information that I hope can help you in your life. And perhaps if you're looking at a lifestyle change or thinking that you want to get a property and learn new skills, maybe this channel is perfect for you to help you in your search of doing just that. So thank you again for joining me and I hope to see you back again really soon. Bye.